Dude, what Stop happened? getting in my face. Then go away. I've warned you. I've coffee. warned you. You're recording times. me through the windows nope. like creepers. Nobody's recording you. You were. No. You were recording no. people through the fucking windows. Go back window. to your life. That's right. I Dude, am recording people. That's through the insane. Windows. Yeah, well. You didn't ask anybody in this store. Why don't you calm down and have a civil conversation with somebody instead of shaking like a leaf, getting nervous, and acting like a fool? Dude. You're recording yeah, there people you go. without breathe, their consent. Breathe, breathe, and then we can start all over again. You're being a fucking asshole. Then we can start all over again. For no reason. Vince, look at me. Look at me in the windows to my soul. Shut the f*** up. Shut all the way the f*** up until you reach the top of Shut f*** up Mountain where there are no more f*** ups to shut. There you go, YouTube. Happy now? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta say, that was the worst involuntary sabbatical I have ever had to endure. I could barely breathe, my voice was completely screwed up, and my ears practically stopped working, so I could literally hear no evil nor speak no evil. But I could certainly see plenty of evil, and boy did the new year come out swinging on this one. How's it going, guys? I'm against it Press. We are coming to you today from Tempe, Arizona. Oh! A bull artist! <laughs> As I mentioned previously, Amagansett Press is back from his mysterious absence and went right back to doing what he does best. And that's being a morally bankrupt degenerative pile of odious excrement, much to the surprise of absolutely no one. What, the outside? The outside of the bank, yeah. Even any filming of the banks, not, not, they have to have their proof through our corporate. Can you give him a call and ask him if it's okay? Uh, you gotta go through the communication. It's not gonna be an immediate call. To go inside the bank, right? It's even on the outside, because this is all security really? protocol, yes. Even with all those, you have everything closed. I can't even see in. I, I'm just telling you what we have is our policy. Oh, no, I'm, just, I'm hearing you. I'm just trying to have the conversation yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, that's what, that's what we have. We can't have film another bank. What is it that you guys are filming the bank for? What am I filming the bank for? The bank for, for yeah. Well, that's... Hmm. Not, not, nothing nefarious, I can well, tell you well, that. Well, it doesn't matter if it's nefarious or not. It's got to go through corporate for the approval of building the bank. But... Really? Yes. Everybody got that? Now, while Mr. Jason Gutterman is indeed a piss stain on the proverbial mattress of society like any other frauditor, what has me particularly concerned about this one is what makes him stand out from the rest of them. Which brings me to the subject of today's video. Is Amagansett Press, in fact, the most dangerous frauditor? Now, if there's one thing I could describe about Amagansett Press that makes him particularly repulsive to me is his style of frauditing. The man is just dripping with arrogant, sanctimonious self-righteousness everywhere he goes. I've called him a malignant narcissist and even an emotional predator whose sole mission is to dominate and manipulate everyone around him. And you need only endure watching one of his videos to agree with that assessment. What kind of... <laughs> filming us? Did you, what, did, what did you just say? You filming uh, us in here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you need our permission if you're gonna have camera. I need your permission for what? To film us in here. If we're gonna be on camera. Why faces. is that? Need a release, don't you? Need a release? Tell you the truth, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. He just lives in this fantasy where anything and everything he says and does is infallible and no consequences or scrutiny should exist, but perish the thought anyone does anything in response and he's clutching his old sagging shriveled pearls for the rest of the video. Oh, that's nice. This lady sticking her phone with the light on it in front of me. I don't know. She's an agitator. This triggering has led him to make threats of unnecessary violence. You try to snatch a camera out of his hand, I'll break your neck, bro. And of course, he's not above acting on them. We all know Jason is eager to pepper spray people, including elderly women, while ironically using his own age as a shield. Now I could do an entire video about how frauditors are pathetic, insecure cowards who have to overcompensate to cope with being a failed, hollowed shell of a man. And you know what? I will. Because f*** Josh Abrams, that's why. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. So getting back to Gutterman, 
He too has to compensate for his insecurity for fear that he must confront the total failure of a life he's created. We also know he was once arrested at a health facility while carrying not only his emotional support pepper spray, but also two firearms and a knife. Now, if you're inserting yourself into a situation where you believe you require not one, but two loaded firearms to defend yourself against unarmed civilians, you might want to reevaluate your life decisions. You do not touch me and you're going to be sorry. What is your name? You're gonna, you're gonna ruin the rest of your day in about 10 seconds. Now let's take a good look at this. Gutterman is making threats, has his pepper spray at the ready, to use against an unarmed woman who's saying mean things while filming him. You know, the very same thing he does in every one of his f***ing videos. Please explain to me, Jason, why her doing it is bad and warrants potentially discharging a weapon against her, but you doing it is perfectly okay. Spoiler alert, it's not. No matter how much your mother, who frankly did the world a disservice by conceiving you, told you you were special, you are not. You're just a bitter, insecure old man with nothing better to do than roam the country making people miserable, hiding behind your hell-spawn creeper of a son, and your blissfully ignorant bimbo of a wife. Yes, I'm going there, Jason, and I don't give a f I think you and your family are worthless lowlives and wish nothing but misfortune upon you and yours, because guess what? Anyone can say that to you, just as much as you like to say it to them. You're a tyrant pig that's what you are allowing people to get assaulted you should be ashamed of yourself and i hope somebody does it to your wife and your children you deserve every bit of it bro you're not exempt you're not immune and you're not entitled you filthy rotten yellow son of a bitch <gasps> fact is the very concept of anyone standing up to him is positively alien i'll even go as far as to say it's something he has an intense irrational fear of whenever we see him confronted by someone he goes all out in defensive mode refusing to allow anyone any opportunity for rebuttal to his statements and claims for all his desire to have a conversation he holds no value in what the other party has to say it's okay uh, listen clearly to what i'm going to tell you here i'm going to go ahead and record this Listen to what I'm gonna Why do you, you can record whatever you want. Listen Why do you think it's okay to record people Listen without to their what consent? I'm gonna tell you. Why do you think that's okay? Do you want to hear my answer? Yeah, sure. Why do you think it's okay? Do you want to hear my answer? Yes. Why listen do you think to what it's I'm okay? gonna tell you. You just keep saying listen, listen to what, to what I'm, I'm gonna, gonna tell, tell you and not saying anything. Have a nice day. He doesn't want to talk to people. He wants to dictate to them and be absolutely dismissive of anything said to him. Like he wants so desperately to be right that he can't afford even the slightest thing to bring any sense of doubt into the equation. This was further supported by his reaction when he actually has to face consequences. Anyone remember this gem? I'll give you my, I'll give you whatever you want. Oh, but please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. They're gonna make me sleep in jail. We certainly do, Jason, and I'll make sure no one forgets. Ever. I mean, I don't care. She's obviously very upset, and has nothing better to do with her day, so... I'm not interested in creating any problems for her, but... So we go from town to town, city to city, we meet people, talk to people, video businesses, get invited to have free lunches, and all kinds of good stuff. It's cool. He is a man deeply committed to his deluded perception of the world, and any action suggesting the contrary of this is downright preposterous. This could not bode well because that could lead to rationalizing any response. Because after all, if you're 100% in the right all the time, then anything you do is justified. And of course, if you get in trouble, you're sure to be vindicated. So he'll double and triple down on his positions and his actions, even in the face of clear evidence he's in the wrong. He will not accept it. I've come to view frauding as the gateway drug to sovereign citizenship, that it has that inherent anti-authority mindset that could lead to thinking that if they don't acknowledge or respect authority, it magically doesn't exist. This leads to a belief that the responsibilities and consequences of the law no longer apply to them. That if they believe hard enough that they have an unalienable right to do something, no one can tell them they can't or hold them accountable for it. So when people in authority show up and try to hold them accountable, they can't fathom how or why they're doing it. And worse, believe they should not allow them to do it. So why is Amagansett Press dangerous? Why do I think that the public should not give him even the slightest leeway to entertain his delusions? That he needs a firm reminder that society will not tolerate his behavior? Well, let's just say this is not the first time we've seen a father and son duo travel the country thinking they're above the law, who think in their own twisted reality where they could do anything without consequences and eventually believe they have every right to preserve that reality by any means necessary. But then again, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you see here and you want to see us do even more in the future,
sure to subscribe to my channel. Please remember to hit that like button and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. I always like to read them. Of course, a big shout out and thank you to all my amazing channel members. Your support is always appreciated. And if you'd like to show your support, consider becoming a member yourself or head on over to www.tonesoverthinks.com and get yourself some exclusive quality channel merch. Links in the description. Till next time, everybody.